Well, tensions are rising in Haiti ahead of Sunday's first round of presidential balloting in local elections. Officials say at least 15 people were killed over the last few days in City Soleil, one of the biggest slums in the country, on the edge of the capital, Port-au-Prince. Riots have also erupted in other parts of Haiti every day now for months. Caitlin Burke visited one of those areas and brings us the story of one organization that's trying to help even in the midst of chaos. The town of Arcaille sits along the main road running through Haiti. Driving through, it looks much like any other community you would find here until you take a closer look. These scorch marks are from the daily riots and roadblocks set up in this community. Reminders that it's not safe. Those daily riots and protests against the government have been happening in Arcaille for months. They break out without warning and often result in violent altercations between the rioters and police. Children's Lifeline, an organization that partners with CBN's Orphans Promise, has been working in the community for nearly 20 years. We're not working for the government, we're not working for anyone, but we're working for God. The organization's school feeding program has been affected by the riots, but they refuse to let the children in their care go hungry. Under normal circumstances, these kids would all be in school right now, eating their lunches delivered by Children's Lifeline. But because of political unrest, it's not safe. So instead, all who are able come here because school's not in session. For those who can't make it to the Children's Lifeline complex, staff members pack the food into buckets and travel either by truck or on foot to make sure it's delivered. We try to do our best, even we got problems in this area, but we still send them food. The other days, we got a problem because no vehicles can just drive on the main road. Any driver can go to that road. But what we do, we carry the food in our head, you know, to transport to the kids because we care about them. It's unknown when school will be able to resume for the children of Arcaille. But Children's Lifeline says despite the violence, it won't stop carrying out its mission. Caitlin Burke, CBN News, Arcaille, Haiti.